like many of you, uh, I have raised garden beds in my, in my home. Uh, I built this one this year and you can see I've already got some things coming up. Anyways, I have a terrible problem with slugs. I live in uh, Vancouver, BC, Canada, which is the Pacific Northwest. And you know, <laughs> it's very wet here. Uh, it rains all the time and the slugs just, they love wet weather and the slugs will come out and they will eat my entire bed. And they've done that a lot. Um, I tried many things last year. I used slug bait. Um, I built those. I, I sank the cup inside the dirt with the beer. You know, I, yeah, I got some slugs, but um, I wanted like a foolproof slug method. So I'm hoping that this battery electric fence is gonna do the trick. So I wanna explain what I did and a couple little helpful tips, uh, hopefully when you install yours, if you do. Um, and then there's my, my stainless uh, steel uh, wire. Um, you can buy this size, this thickness, you can buy fatter, whatever you want. So basically, a couple things. So um, I, what I'm doing is, is putting galvanized steel wire around all four sides of my bed. There's two, there's two uh, runs of it, there's two circuits. And you can see I've got one circuit and there's the, these wires do not touch by the way. So I've got one circuit, wrapped around a single screw on the end, um, and that goes all the way around. I've got a separate circuit on a different screw going all the way around. Make sure none of these wires touch. Okay, so this is a, like my work in progress right now. I'll, I'll make this uh, secure later, but I just wanted to show you on the in the meantime. Um, so I've got the wires coming up and they need to go into a, a nine volt battery. So what happens now is I've got a, a connection. I've got an electrical connection um, running through well, from each of these uh, each of the, the points on the battery to each of the wires so I've got a uh, two uh, lines of voltage running through this uh, one is uh, uh, like a, a positive voltage one is a negative if you were to connect these two together um, uh, with like a conductive material uh, like another piece of wire that would connect the circuit that would connect the circuit and power electricity voltage would flow from uh, from the battery through both of the wires and the connected point the connected point uh, would have a 9 volt uh, 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 field electric field e field running through it and that is deadly so there'd be the current uh, current uh, produced as well at the same time so you'd have uh, amps uh, little uh, little uh, photons of energy basically running through whatever is in the middle so the idea is you've got this electric field set up and a slug will crawl up crawl over the first one and then touch the second and it will get a shock. Uh, it'd be like putting your fingers in a, in a, uh, uh, in the, in the wall socket, which, you know, hopefully you didn't do that, but you might've done that. Um, I sure did when I was a kid and it has a shock and it will jump, jump back. Um, one uh, starter tip, um, you have an option of running the wires along the top on a flat edge or uh, on here. I had, I have a front garden bed with, with, uh, um, where it's just better to put it on the top. What I found is slugs come up they hit both wires and they can't move because they're laying flat and they wind up getting electrocuted and it drains my battery. So yeah, am I sad that the slug has died? I guess in a sense. Um, but if it's all I'm trying to get at is if it's, if, if the slug is sitting on a, um, on a vertical, uh, board like this, it'll flinch back and either fall off to the ground or it will just go down. Okay. So it won't get stuck in on the wires and drain your battery. So when I put this in first, I, I had two screws on the end. You could, if you wanted to put screws and nails around all four corners of the bed, you don't have to do that because you can just simply pull the wire tight uh, and then wrap it around and have it come back and then and tie it off on the end. Then what you want to do is take a staple gun and just staple in um, around the around the bed. You could also take uh, nails or screws and secure your wires in that way. That would of course be fine. Um, All right, so I'm just uh, the, the the last bit here. So the wires are going through one higher, one lower. So when you put the screws in or nails, you want to have them higher and lower. And then because you want them to connect up on the top to a battery to the two poles, um, you don't want to have the wires touch. So I offset them vertically and horizontally. Okay, so uh, you can see how I did it. So when the second wire comes up, it'll come up here. When this the original wire comes up, it'll go up here and it'll keep the wires separate. You just don't want the wires touching. And that's why you're offsetting them uh, vertically as well. So um, I've got the first wire 
wrapped around. I, I, I didn't pull it like super tight. It doesn't need to be, you know, like super tight. It just has to be um, uh, close enough to the wood to not allow a slug to climb under it or over it without uh, touching the wire, okay? So I wanna uh, have enough uh, wire to come up to the top of here where I'm gonna put my battery. So um, I'll cut it a little bit extra long. So I'll put it about, oh, maybe there. Okay. Uh, there, all right. So that wire will come up and it will be more than enough to attach to that little nine volt um, uh, fitting adapter and then go into my little cup or whatever. So then um, with this, this uh, the steel, what I'll do is just tie it off on the screw. And you don't need to have both wires going up into the, the battery, by the way, you just need one. The wires just need to touch. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, uh, I'll just do that. I need two hands to do that. So I'll, I'll stop filming, but I'm just gonna wrap that around there a few times. Um, and what I'm gonna do is make sure that this, this wire is close to the wood. I'm gonna make sure this wire comes out a little bit. Um, uh, do I need, to, no, I don't need to do that actually. So I'm gonna have that wire um, fit close to the wood as well. All right, I've got the wires wrapped around now. And what I was trying to say before about the wire being close to the wood, have one of the wires, and I suggest the top wire, wrap that close around the, the thread that's close to the wood. Then on the second wire, the lower one, have the thread wrapped on the outer side of the, the sorry, the, the steel wire wrapped around the outer side of the thread. And then that way the wire doesn't touch the, uh, the wire coming up doesn't touch this wire behind and you don't create a short circuit, okay? Uh, you can also put some uh, electrical tape uh, in there and that would prevent a short as well. So whatever, whatever way works. All right, here's what I use to, uh, to assemble the, the box with the battery and the wires. So drill, uh, you need to drill with an appropriately uh, sized drill bit to drill two holes in the little box. You need a little plastic box. Um, I've got a, a watertight uh, seal on this. Uh, those are two connectors that will connect the next part, uh, the battery and the nine volt battery adapter um, cable. And I've, I've jimmied this together just temporarily for now. Um, so those two wires will connect into uh, one of those, those wires will each connect into one of the, they're called butt connectors. And then the other end of the butt connector will connect down to each of the wires, okay? And that will create the electric circuit. Um, there is the nine volt adapter uh, cable. Uh, I've got a wire cutter and a stripper tip on there because you need to strip the uh, strip some length off of the, the uh, red and black uh, plastic coated uh, wires. I've got some electrical tape because after this is all done, I'm going to wrap uh, some tape for safety around the uh, butt, the end of the butt connector and the wire. I've got a multimeter that's optional, but if you've got one, it's really nice because after I'm done, I want to test to make sure that I do have a nine volt circuit. Okay. So I'll show you what I do. I used the, uh, st uh, the cable stripper tip on this to strip off about two, two and a half centimeters or about an inch of, of uh, protective plastic on the edge of each of the uh, the leads and then what I did is I twisted the leads because uh, the, the wires are quite frayed just uh, just twist them into a nice solid mass then I folded the long ends the, the two and a half centimeters one inch of wire I folded it uh, three times to make a thicker wire and I did that because the the butt connector I've got has quite a wide opening and I felt that the th the the the, the wire was going to be just so thin it'd be really brittle so I wanted to be able to just have a solid more solid wire and then I put I'll put both ends into one butt connector but then you can see the th the the marks on the on the butt connector I used my uh, my my wire tool to crimp the edge you can see it's thinner so but there's a metal uh, a small metal tube in the middle of the middle of this it when you crimp the 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 red portion it crimps the metal on the inside in and it grabs the end of the wire and keeps it tight. And then I drilled a couple holes in my little box. Uh, I made them the right size to fit my uh, butt connectors. So you don't wanna make them too big, obviously. Make them just the right size, uh, maybe trial and error, etc. cetera. But now afterwards this, I'm gonna put silicone around. I'm gonna squirt a little silicone around to make it watertight on the, on the seal part, okay? And then what you get here is a you, this is a permanent uh, battery um, box, I guess. So it's got the little connector for the nine volt battery, so it'll just connect on there. Um, and if the battery runs out, you just simply open up the box and replace the, the battery. And then I'm gonna now connect those uh, two butt connectors 
to the two wires that are running around the box and there's the two ends coming up here and just um, you know based on where you want to put the box just cut the wires appropriately and then just like I did for the um, the, the small uh, wire coming up the 9 volt adapter this gauge is pretty thin um, so I know that if I could fold it over once and it will then fit nicely into the uh, the end of the butt connector so I just you know I folded the, the wire back and then twisted it neatly around uh, around on itself and I just, I just want to point out the tip so um, you, your hands won't be able to really create a nice tight fold so I use a, a pair of pliers just to create the nice tight tip uh, and then it because it won't otherwise fit into the end of my butt connector all right, so I've got both wires and I've crimped down both of the uh, um, both the butt connectors so those wires are in there nice and tight. All right so now I've got uh, both wires connected sorry there's the 9 volt adapter into the butt connectors out of the box into the two wires that run around the uh, the, the length of the box and I'll repeat again like this part is quite important make sure that these none of these wires cross um, Okay, the, the, the two separate wires. I mean, don't let them touch because what that'll do is it'll create what's called a short circuit and basically it will cause the battery to, to, to heat up and, uh, and it'll, it could likely explode, go on fire. It would be just a, a real mess. So uh, what I'm doing now is I've got a multimeter attached to each of the two wires. So there's an alligator clip on each and it's showing zero voltage right now. So what I'm gonna do is um, just connect the nine volt battery I'll do that with one hand and watch the uh, multimeter. It should go to nine volts. Close enough, eight and a half volts, all right? Uh, it's, it's discharged a little bit, this battery. And the nice thing is about this unit, once this battery discharges fully, um, just you just open up the top of the box and replace the battery, and then you're, that's all you have to do, so. And then I put some uh, electric tape around the edge. I don't want any water getting into the box. Um, on that, some people, some videos um, show uh, they drill holes in the box and they, they screw it in to the thing. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna use Velcro. I just don't want any, any water getting into this thing. So, um, yeah, so I didn't show it yesterday, but I did go through today and I stapled in um, all the wires. And I got them pretty close because I noticed small slugs, uh, they have a tendency to climb up and then they were going parallel uh, and then crossing over. Um, so I didn't want that to happen. So I, I, I made these pretty tight. Uh, maybe a slug will get in, but I'm hoping that it, that it doesn't. So um, I think that's it uh, on behalf of my, my new garden. I wish you well. I hope that, uh, that this works for you. I hope it's gonna work for me and that those radishes that are coming up over there uh, turn into full grown veggies that I can serve uh, for my family without slug problems. Okay, good luck everybody.